Welcome to Crayblood Present Submit Editions. Today is the day that we're going to talk about the famous spirit or yokai that has been securing its presence in China, Japan, and Korea. And yes, today we're going to talk about the famous fox spirit, Kumiho or Kitsune. Fox spirits are shape shifting creatures revered in Asian mythologies. They are often portrayed as an enchanting woman and are closely associated with black magic and witchcraft. The rank of a spot fox spirits is closely aligned with the number of their tails. The most at once and powerful fox spirits is the Nineteen Fox, which is popular in mythical creatures in anime, movie, cartoons, and even in Pokemon as well. The fox spirit origin can be traced back to Chinese mythology, but it also can be found in Japan and Korea. Mm, looks like a fox. <laughs> fox spirit possess a captivating beauty, often seen in their original form, white fluffy fur fox. They are commonly depicted as a stunning woman with flowing hair, although they can shape shift into other animals as well. Since ancient time, fox spirits are known for their intelligence and cunning with the ability of using magic. Come on, they live for thousands of years, and during that time they have honed their survival skills. They are able to outsmart their prey and safeguard their true identities, or else they might have the same fate like the witches in the solemn trial. The number of the fox spirit has is believed to indicate its power and also age. A single two fox spirits is considered as young and inexperienced, while one with nine tail is considered old and formidable. Just my curiosity, will fox spirits have more than nine tails? Some sources claim that they can't, but others say there's a limit. Nevertheless, no concrete evidence exists to confirm this perspective. Just now we mentioned that fox spirits appeared in mythology in three countries. China, Korea, and Japan. Let's find out now. In Chinese mythologies, nine-tailed fox, also known as Zhu Weihu or Hu Li Jing, is an intelligent and sly creature capable of transforming into a beautiful woman. This mythical creature is associated with both positive and negative image. However, uh, it often regarded as a prosperous icon due to its nine tail. The number of nine in Chinese culture uh, is seen as a symbol of longevity, wisdom, and auspiciousness. The earliest reference to the nine tail fox can be found in the Shanghai Jing, a classic text from the 4th century BCE. It describes a nine tail fox residing in the green hills of Qingqiu, in the northern part of the country. This creature is known for its crying resembling a baby's and its consumption of humans. And some believe consuming fox spirit flesh is said to drive out demons and provide immunity from poisons. A few Chinese ancient texts suggest that the age of fox spirits can affect its power and ability. So, when the fox spirit reach the age of 50, it can transform into humans. When if reach 100 years old, it can become a beautiful woman, spirit medium, or adult male. When it reach 100 plus years old, it possesses extraordinary senses, the ability to manipulate or bewilder humans through possessions, and the power to sense things over a thousand miles away. When it reach a thousand years old, it ascends to heaven and becomes a celestial fox or what we call fox god, Hu Shen. According to another ancient text from Tang Dynasty, the nine-tailed fox is a divine being with nine tails and golden colors. The fosse it serves in the palace of sun and moon and associated with talisman and transcending the duality of yin and yang. During the Tang Dynasty, a lot of people worship fox spirits. They believe that uh, fox spirit will bring good fortunes and also prosperity in their life and also the village. There's even a saying at that time, when there's no fox god, no village can be established. 
earliest Korean documentary about Gumiho is in Sampok Yosa. It talks about how a, a Kumiho seduced a man and ate his liver. And later in Joseon Dynasty, there's another novel called The Story of Hong Geudong, portraying a Kumiho as the major antagonist, powerful sorcerers to destroy the main character, Hong Geudong. There are a lot of stories about Gumiho in Korean folklore. However, the uh, storyline, the template always surrounding to the, the Kumiho uh, transform into a beautiful lady, seduce a man or even marry him. And later, uh, when it's got exposed, it will eat his liver. Okay, I found one which is slightly different from its default template. Uh, the name of this story is called The Maiden Who Discovered Gumiho Through Chinese Poem. The story goes like this. A young man attempt to trick a maiden into marrying him. However, ultimately it revealed when a hunting dog catches the scene of a fox and attack him and was forced to change itself back to a fox and reveal his identity. And finally, a story of Kumiho transforming into a man. Unlike the Chinese perspective, Zhu Weihu can be portrayed as a good bad or even neutral personality. In Korea, oftentimes it was treated as malignant figures who constantly ate human livers. Some later literature even portrayed Kumiho as a half-beast, half-human creatures like a vampire wandering in a cemetery at night, thirsting on human blood and preying on livers to maintain its immortality. Despite Kumiho being perceived as a malignant creature, this popularity in Korean media has sparked numerous adaptation and reinterpretation of this mythologi mythological creatures. These are the TV series with Kumiho in it. And finally, my favorite country in the world. Uh, in Japan, Fox spirit also is also called Kitsune. Likewise, as the Chinese mythologies, Kitsune also possess paranormal ability that increase as they get older and will become wiser as well. In ancient Japan, foxes and humans has a very close ties living together. In Jomo period, people even created a necklace using the canine teeth and jaw bond. In Japanese folklore, foxes are associated with rice cultivation due to their role as natural enemies of rice-eating pests. The reverence for kitsune as protectors of rice fields stems from their ability to repel rats. Japanese people would place stones with fox urine near rice fields as it was believed to have a rat-repelling effect. The cultural connection between kitsune and rice further emphasizes their importance and status in Japanese society. Eventually, Kitsune often time associated with Inari, the Shinto deity of rice. Historical texts such as Nihon Shoki and Nihon Roki contain a lot of legends about Kitsune. Especially in Nihon Roki, a Buddhist legend collection compiled around year 822. In this story, a man from Mino province married to a Kitsune and have a child together. The Kitsune as the wife is described as a person who has a deep resentment against dogs. Also, their descendants are depicted as doing evil things by taking advantage of their power. Legends of Kitsune also appear in Konjaku Monogatari Shu, an 11th century Japanese collections of Japanese, Chinese, and Indian literary narratives. One of the stories within the collection is the tale of the fox wife, where a man named Yomond fall in love with a beautiful woman named Kuzu Noha, who is revealed to be a Kitsune. Their marriage is marred by the interference of a nosy neighbor, who set their house on fire to expose Kuzu Noha's true form. As a result, Yomon is forced to separate from his beloved fox wife and release her back into the forest. Don't be a Karen, don't be a busybody if the other people love relationship is not recognized by you. Kitsune is still a beloved yokai that appeared in Japanese cultures. The most popular depictions is uh, the Pokemon, Nine Alolan, and also Naruto. Fox spirit is a complex and contradictory figure in these three countries. It often seen as a ship shifter with magic abilities. However, it meanings vary from country to country. In China, Huzhen is revered. In Japan, Kitsune is worshipped. 
In Korea, generally, people dislike kumiho. The nine tail fox embody both good and evil, beauty and dangers, reminding us there's more to the world than meet the eyes. And that's it for the episode of Fox Spirits. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And guys, if you like this channel, if you like this topic, please hit the subscribe button down below. If you like this video, give me a like. Guys, please subscribe to my channel for my channel to continue to leave. I'm going to see you again next week. Bye!